Hello everyone. Today in this post we would like to find a neutral point between two dissimilar charges. What do you mean by dissimilar charges? It is simple like one charge, a point charge Q1 is a positive charge and another charge Q2 is opposite charge, it is a negative charge. I want to find a neutral point of this two charges. Say for example, if you want to try a neutral point between these two, say at a distance, let us put a Q3, let us try to identify the forces acting on this Q3. Q1 being a positive charge on this Q3 applies the repulsive force, Q2 being a negative charge, so this is the force due to the first charge, Q2 being a negative charge applies an attraction on Q3. So you might have noticed that these two forces are opposite in direction, no, they are in the same direction. So what I have to say, as F1 is parallel to F2, they cannot cancel. As they cannot cancel, it is very clear that we cannot get a neutral point between them. We cannot get neutral point. Unlike between two similar charges, we will get a neutral point between them. But if the charges are opposite in nature, we are not going to get a neutral point between them. We cannot get neutral point between them. We can check, is it possible to get a neutral point beyond them? Let us check. Assume this is a positive charge this is a negative charge. Let us check, I am keeping a point Q3 at somewhere x, where the distance between these two charges is something like R, Rd, whatever. Now on this Q3 positive charge, due to this Q1, there is a repulsive force. On this Q3, due to this negative charge, there is an attraction. This is force due to the second charge. As these two are in opposite direction, what I can say, but in the previous case, they are in the same direction. Here, F1 and F2 are in opposite direction. As F1 and F2 are in opposite direction, if their magnitudes are equal, then the point can become a neutral point. Point can be a neutral point. So, there is a possibility here beyond the charges, but there is no possibility between the charges. When it is possible, I have kept a condition. Force between first charge and the third charge is equal to force between third charge and second charge. Then the two forces acting on the three as they are in opposite in direction, if they are equal in magnitude, they can cancel each other. I can write that value using the Coulomb's inverse square law 1 and 3, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 and Q3. We have assumed the distance as x square. Then force between 3 and 2 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q3 and q2. The separation between them is d plus x whole square. So, we can cancel the terms. What is remaining is q1 by x square equal to q2 by d plus x whole square. So, I can simplify this further. d plus x by x whole square equal to q2 by q1. We can take a cube, square root on both the sides, q2 by q1. We can simplify this further, d by x plus 1 equal to root of q2 by q1. By simplifying this further, I can get d by x equal to q2 by q1 minus 1. 
then I can write x equal to d by root of q2 by q1 minus 1. This is the location of neutral point, x is the location of neutral point and be careful you are calculating it from q1, from q1 towards the left in fact, towards the left. If you want to calculate from q2, it will become x plus r and it is possible that there will be a neutral point outside q2 also on the same line we can find it that also, but be clear that when the charges are opposite in nature, neutral point is not between them rather it is beyond them, that is it. Thank you.